COVID-19 has changed our world and more importantly our perspective. Most of us know now is the time we must make a smart shift in our life. In order to do that, let's have a look for the best seller book, The Rich Dad and Poor Dad. Having two dads offer me the choice of contrasting point of view, one of a rich man and one of a poor man. I had two fathers, a rich one and a poor one. One was highly educated and intelligent. He had a PhD and completed four years of undergraduate work in less than two years. He then went to Stanford University, the University of Chicago. The other father never finished the eighth grade. Both men were successful in their careers, working hard in their life, both earning substantial incomes. Yet one always struggled financially. The other would become one of the richest men in Hawaii. One died, leaving tens of millions of dollars to his family, charities, and his church. The other left bills to be paid. If I had only one dad, I would have to accept or reject his advice. Having two dads offered me the choice of contrasting point of view, one of a rich man and one of a poor man. And instead of simply accepting or rejecting one or the other, I found myself thinking more, comparing, and choosing for myself. At this point in time, rich dad wasn't really rich yet, but soon become to be the wealthiest man in Hawaii. So then, what did rich dad teach Robert? Rich dad poured a strong financial foundation into these kids' minds of many important principles. To start off, the first lesson you need to know is you must know the differences between an asset and a liability and that you need to buy assets. If you want to be rich, this is all you really need to know and understand the most. You see, the rich acquires assets and the poor and the middle class acquires liabilities. But sometimes they think they are assets. The primary cause of financial struggle is simply not knowing the differences between an asset and liability. Alright, you don't even know what an asset or liability is, don't you? An asset is something that puts money in your pocket. A liability is something that takes money out of your pocket. For instance, let's try cash flow pattern of a normal individual. This person right here earns his income from a shop and expenses on things like food, clothes, entertainment, and transportation. Unfortunately, he doesn't have assets, but true does he does have liabilities that constantly takes money out of his pocket. Because things like mortgage, taxes, credit card, loans, and believe it or not, the house. Now, let's take a look how the cash flow pattern really works for rich. If instead of looking to earn more money from their normal job as only source of income, they buy and own assets that bring money into their pocket as a form of passive income. Passive income is something that earns money that doesn't require you to trade your time for it. So in other words, you would be earning money even as you are sleeping. Examples of assets are businesses that doesn't require your presence, such as stocks, bonds, mutual funds, income generation, real estate, realities, notes, and anything else that has value that produces income. As mentioned before, poor dad was making quite a lot of money from his job, but his expenses seemed to, to always keep up with his income never allowing him to invest in assets. As a result, his liabilities such as mortgages and credit card debts grew greater over time. And this is the fault of having income equals expenses and assets as less than liabilities. And sadly, this is what drove poor dad into debt even after he passed away. On the other hand, rich dad's personal financial statement reflected the result of a life dedicated to investing and minimizing liabilities. So he has income that is greater than his expenses because of assets 
is greater than liabilities. This particularly why the rich are getting richer. Their assets generate more than enough income to cover expenses with the balancer invested into the asset column. The asset column continues to grow and therefore the income grows with it. You see, all has worked hard but they have opposite attitude and thought. One had recommended study hard so you can find a good company to work for. The other recommended to study hard so you can find a good company to buy. One that said the reason I am not rich is because I have kids. The other said the reason I must be rich because I have you kids. One said when it comes to money play it safe and don't take risk. The other said learn to manage your risk. One said I can't afford it. The other said how can I afford it? Although both men had tremendous respect for education and learning. They dis disagree on what they thought was important to learn. Robert learned from Rich that the truth of the general population their lives are run forever by two emotions, fear and greed, that keeps you stuck in a pattern of get up, go to work, pay bill, get up, go to work, and pay bills. And in order to handle that fear, you need to learn the power of money, not to be afraid of it. Unfortunately, most schools don't teach about this, and if you don't learn it, you will become a slave to money. Ignorance of money can cause so much greed, so much fear, that can lead you into life's biggest trap of constantly working. Richard has said, learn to use your emotions to think, not to think with your emotions. Examples of emotional thinking are like, I need to get another job. I deserve a raise. I want this job because it is secure. And instead of clearly thinking like, is there something I am missing here? This is our reality. For most people, your profession is your income. The rich, your assets is your income. Apply this lesson to your life. And if I were to ask you about the definition of wealth, if you stop working today, as all of us now, we sit in a tomb because of coronavirus, how long can you survive? You might laugh at me and say, I no longer work for money. Money works for me. Thank you guys for watching. Click the like and subscribe button if you want to see more helpful videos. And see you later.